So this is going to be a quick guide to getting some nice AFK magic experience using the Nightmare Zone. So first of all, uh, the requirements for the Nightmare Zone itself, there are no actual requirements to use it other than having done uh, at least five quests for Nightmare Zone bosses. Um, and the way this works is that you fight the bosses from the quests that you've done. And when you start a Nightmare Zone session, you get to choose the bosses that you want to have in that session. And this is pretty important because you're going to want to choose bosses that are easy to fight, that use melee only, that stack up around you so that you can just keep AFK and auto retaliating fighting them. Um, for example, some bosses like Dagonoth Mother from Horror from the Deep or Kronazon, uh, or Treus Darth, they're not the best ones. For example, Dagonoth Mother, you need to use the appropriate spell based on what color she is, just like in the quest. Uh, Treus Darth um, from Tarn's Lair is going to teleport you around, so it's kind of annoying if you're trying to stack up monsters to AFK against. Uh, and Kronazon, you have to finish off with an air spell, which obviously you're not going to be doing if you're AFK. So there's a few monsters like that. Also, the desert treasure bosses, uh, they use mage. They don't all use melee. So uh, that's why I have those disabled here as well. Um, you don't have to use exactly the bosses I've chosen here, um, but these are all bosses that are available for an account that has one defense. Um, some of these quests give you attack experience, such as Fight Arena, the Gnome Village quests. But you should be able to uh, do all these quests pretty easily, uh, or at least enough quests to have five bosses to start off here. Alright, I'm going to look at the gear setup that I use for this real quick. Um... What I'm going for here is basically a prayer bonus and also magic damage bonus. So the biggest thing for that is going to be the Tome of Fire. That giving you like a plus 50% uh, magic damage for fire spells. So that's pretty huge. Um, and then also the necklace, the occult necklace is going to be plus 10%. The tormented bracelet is plus five and then the smoke battle staff it's either plus 10 or plus 20 i can't remember but and then one other piece of equipment you see in my inventory here is chaos gauntlets and that's only really required if you're using fire bolt um but it is extremely good if you want to use fire bolt which is basically I mean, the cheapest way to do this method all right, let's jump into it. So I'm going to start off with Fire Wave and just show you how I get set up. I'm going to skip the part where you eat the Dwarven Rock Egg to get your health to 1, and I'm not going to explain how Absorbs and Potions work. I'm going to assume you already know that. I'll give a real quick breakdown right now, so if you know exactly how this all works, go ahead and skip the next 45 seconds. So once you got your Absorptions up and your health down, uh, you can use the Super Magic Potions that you buy with your reward points, just go ahead and put yourself in a corner, and that's just so that you're taking the least amount of hits at a time, basically forcing the monsters kind of stack up behind each other, uh, and you're just gonna be auto-retaliating, casting, whichever spell you've chosen. Um, you can see here, basically what you wanna do once you've got this running is try to keep your health as low as possible so you're not taking a lot of damage from the monsters. Uh, I like to do this by flicking the rapid heal prayer. You can see around my health uh, in the upper right, that's showing like a timer for the heal rate, basically. So every time that timer is completed, I'm going to get one health. If you just flick rapid heal before that timer's up, it's going to reset and you can just stay at one health. Okay, so from this point on, I'm basically going to assume that you've figured out how to use the Nightmare Zone. You have absorption potions, and you figured out how to keep your health low so that you're not burning through your absorption potions super fast. Um, using this method, I've been able to last one session with one inventory of absorption potions, maybe a prayer potion, a couple of super magics, uh, for over an hour, you know, close to two hours making uh, just under 100,000 experience an hour. So it's pretty good um, once, you know, if, if you're still in the 70s or 80s after you unlock Fire Wave, you're gonna be getting like at least one level per trip. And like I said, it's super AFK. I've been able to do this while I'm 
editing videos, doing work. Uh, I've been shooting videos and had this going on in the background. So it's it's a nice little method that really, you know, takes minimal work. And you also got to keep in mind that if you're using the Tome of Fire, um, you're going to be using burnt pages. Each burnt page is about 2,700 coins, and that's, I believe, 20 casts per page. So you're looking at about... Uh, what is that 135 coins per cast added to to the cost so you know if a blood rune is like 275 you're using the burn page now it's like 400 a cast uh, but i'll go ahead and show you guys the breakdown of what kind of experience you can get and what that's going to cost you a little later on okay now let's take a quick look at fire blasting uh this is going to be pretty much the same method you're going to be using the same gear as as best magic gears you can afford um you're going to still be using absorption potions position yourself in the corner and um just fire blasting away basically the same uh, same ways if you're waving and if you're using uh, some nice magic damage boosting gear the Tome of Fire being the most crucial one. Obviously, the bracelet's like, I think, 20 mils. So that's not totally necessary for 5%. Uh, but if you can afford the necklace and the staff, that's about, I think, 2, 2.5 mil together. That is going to add to your max hit, 1 or 2. So you can see here I'm hitting like 28s and 30s with Fire Blast. Okay, so finally I'm going to look at using just Fire Bolt without the Tome of Fire and the Chaos Gauntlets and some other magic boosting gear, which is going to be the cheapest way to do this method. So let's just go ahead and pull up the stats that I got from a thousand casts of Fire Wave, Fire Blast, and Fire Bolt using the Tome and also without the Tome. You can see the highest I peaked out was around like just under 90k an hour using fire wave with the tome and that was costing me just under eight coins an hour uh 65 650k an hour to run the cheapest option is me using fire bolt without the tome of fire and if you have some of that magic boosting gear you can still get uh 45 or up to 50k experience an hour and that will only cost you like 100k an hour to run so you'll be paying uh, just about two coins an hour so that is very cheap experience and you can stack up some Nightmare Zone points to imbue some of your equipment, uh, which in my opinion is a pretty nice bonus. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just want a quick shout out to the Purely Bald channel, 25 Buttholes YouTube channel, and uh, all the guys making interesting uh, RS content and ladies making interesting RS content these days. So thanks for watching, and uh, go ahead and leave any questions you have in the comments. Uh, let me know if you found a better method or if you have uh, other better magic methods. Uh, I also do a little bit of enchanting. I've tried some uh, bursting, too, because, uh, you know, doing one method all the way to 94 does get kind of boring.